Hello everyone, this is uh, my Intel NUC which I bought, uh, I believe, uh, last year or it has been two years. I think it has been a while and I have been using this Intel NUC as a proper desktop computer. Yes, as a proper desktop computer for a long time and this is my long term review. I mean not really a long review, I just want to give you my feedback. Now I have been using uh, Raspberry Pis since the beginning, the very first Raspberry Pi which I bought, I used it as a, a proper MPD server. So I installed uh, MPD and I connected it to a 2TB hard disk and it was always, always up, always running and it worked really well. So basically if you're looking for something like, you know, a backup server, of course, no, don't really expect uh, high speeds or maybe something that you need to run all the time, then maybe you can use Raspberry Pi. And to be honest, uh, this works fine for doing just one thing and one thing only. But if you're doing, if, or if you're expecting to use Raspberry Pi, especially the new Raspberry Pi, I guess version four for desktop computing, I don't really think it can replace like a proper computer. But at the same time, I tried NUC and I was not really expecting it uh, to be that good. When I first started using NUC, I thought, okay, uh, let me just try a few things and uh, l let us try to monitor the, you know, the, the usage or the speed or the things that I am able to do. So I tried it for, you know, a couple of months and I never really had any problems. To be honest, I, uh, I, I, used, this, I used this particular NUC with uh, a 29 inch monitor and this Intel NUC came with uh, Windows 10 and it has uh, 8 GB RAM and I believe 256 GB uh, M2 SATA, I believe, I guess. And this also comes with uh, Windows uh, 10, which is nice because Windows 10 is not bad. I mean, to be honest, I don't really mind Windows 10 I'm, and I also don't really mind uh, Mac, <laughs> to be honest, as long as I'm not using these uh, operating systems as my primary op operating system. But if you are looking for a computer which uh, is powerful enough to watch YouTube videos, maybe Netflix, maybe, you know, uh, lightweight gaming like Roblox, for example, and maybe at the same time you want uh, something which is always up and running so that you can store your uh, media, I guess uh, Intel NUC could be a really good option because I never really, really had any problems with it. Although when you play some games with uh, this on this particular machine, it will make, uh, I mean, it will, the, the fan will, will, will start making some, uh, some, I mean, not really noise, but you can hear it. And uh, apart from that, I think it has been working great. I mean, if you look at the port options, it has, uh, you know, a lot of options. So you can connect uh, HDMI, it, ha it also has, you know, display port, uh, and, uh, and it is quite good. It is really, really good. Uh, it, it also looks quite Quite, quite sturdy and uh, it is it is sturdy it has this aluminium case i guess and at the same time you can also attach it i believe i never really tried it i think you can also like uh, attach it on the back side of your uh, normal monitor if they have this visa visa you know thing i guess it should work because you know there are two holes i guess it should work or maybe these four holes i never really tried it but uh, but i will be you know continuing to use this on Windows 10. I don't really have any plans to install anything apart from Windows because I have this uh, uh, machine always up and running. Sometimes you need to maybe quickly check something and you don't you don't really have your laptop uh, with you. You don't really have your mobile. I mean, you always have your mobile with you, but uh, sometimes you need to do something on a computer and having a proper computer always up and running is always good. So no complaints at all and to be honest i didn't really pay anything for this I, I almost got it for free but if you're planning to buy uh, something like uh, this you should be able to get this really cheap from ebay or maybe you know just check in your local uh, local facebook marketplace or maybe go to your local market computer market i don't i don't i'm not really sure about nehru place in delhi but uh, here in the uk definitely on ebay and i know raspberry pis are good but to be honest for the for the for the price 
I mean, Raspberry Pi 4 is quite expensive and uh, you can actually get this really cheap. I mean, just check the price. I, I can't really tell you uh, the price for this specific model because uh, if you're buying something secondhand or used, it, it depends. It, it really depends on uh, the timing and also the configuration and from where you're buying. You can also check on Gumtree or local Facebook marketplace where people are uh, usually selling something. So highly recommended Intel NUC. I'm really happy with it. And to be honest, I'm actually thinking of buying one more where I will probably install uh, uh, maybe Linux or I'll set it up as uh, like a proper home server. I don't really have any home server right now. I think about it, but I don't really have any massive usage of it. I was, in, I was also thinking of setting up a home server with SyncThing, always up and running which I was thinking of doing either on Raspberry Pi, which is now this one. I also have one more, but I might, I, I might just do it on this one, this particular machine, because this one is uh, on Windows 10 and uh, uh, sometimes we have to play games, Roblox games on this. And uh, I don't really want to install anything else. So I'll probably buy one more because I quite like it. All right, that is it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed watching this video and you learned something new. Thank you very much. Bye bye.